Hello everybody and welcome back to Teresa's Corner. I am Teresa Ruiz and today I have three orchids. They are suffering from scale and mealybugs. The treatment that I've been using for the thribs have not been working on these. So what I'm going to do is before I try the ore theme, I'm going to try actually cleaning them up and soaking them in Clorox water and then I'm going to rinse them off and then repot them again. As you can see they're not looking too hot. It looks like they're in need of some love. And this one here is the Oncidium Bell March Fit Howard's Dream. So let's take a look at the plant itself. Ooh, you can see that the roots just failed. So when I bought this one I left it in the media that it came in and that was probably my mistake because I don't really keep huh. look there's a good root there so it's actually trying to do good but the plants just not do looking too good anyways like I was saying I left it in the media that it came in which was some type of I don't know peat moss maybe coconut moss um, so I'm gonna get rid of it I'm just gonna clean it completely I don't think I'm gonna get rid of the these pseudobulbs here maybe just this one but it's not gonna do anything so I'm just gonna cut it I have my shears here they've been disinfected there you go so that actually looked good I mean mushy a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up and soak it pretty well on. Oh no! You see this? There was a growth there and I just killed it. Oh, you have to be careful when you pull this dryness from it so you don't do what I just did. That is very sad. But I, I hope I get another one. But the reason why I'm doing that is because I want to be able to make sure that the Clorox water gets in there and it kills all the bugs that are in there. You see that? That's a new growth there as well coming out. So it'll be fine. All right. So let's take it to the Clorox water. I've already poured my water in and I've already used a splash of the Clorox. So I'm just going to take my plant in and leave it in here for a few minutes. I'm just trying to get as much as this, whatever this is from it. Oops, time to upgrade. As you can see, I use this container a lot and it's, I'll leave it out here. So the sun's damaging it, but there's my orchid. I'm just going to leave it in there for a few minutes. The next one up is the same medium here. I'm going to start with the smaller one. Okay, so you see this here? All that is just infected and every time I spray my uh, my orchids with the organic treatment for the thrips, it just, I don't know, it just, it's, it's like they disappear, for, you know, and as soon as it dries up, they just come back so I'm assuming my problem is really not going anywhere let's check it out and see what's going on in here so as you can see I mean it's doing good look the new growth is developing roots I have roots down here as well I have some good roots down here so obviously the plant is trying to do it or at least it's doing good so what i'm going to do is i'm going to quickly clean it up i'm going to cut all the dead roots and try to be careful not to cut any good roots um but as you can see for the most part they look very they look they all look bad with the exception of the new ones that are growing there's a new growth there so i mean it's doing good it wants to thrive just to be honest i've never been good with some videos. I love them. Um, I know of a lady who has tons of these and they do good for her and she pots them in soil. I've considered doing that but to be honest with you I'm afraid of doing that. So if any of you do have these in soil please let me know and see how it works out for you guys. I just feel like I'm going to overwater it and I'm going to end up killing it which is what I think I'm doing anyways. I mean, those are a lot of dead 
root. Actually, I also know a of a nursery here in San Diego. Uh, when I started looking into different nurseries, I contacted one of them. So I contacted him and I took a look at what he had and um, he mostly worked with cymbidiums and propagating them from back bulbs. So I thought that was pretty cool because like I said, I've never been good at caring for my cymbidiums. So all these, they're just dead and dry. So what I'm, I think I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna cut it here. That this is the portion that is mostly infected. That's why I want to make sure I get all the dry sheath from there so that the Clorox goes in there. I'm just horrible with these. Look at all that. I don't know what it is. I hope some of you have some tips for me regarding uh, how to care for cymbidiums. It just seems like it doesn't matter how much research I do. I don't know if it's just my setup, but I use the same setup as I do for the all my other orchids, which is, you know, a mixture of bark, leca, and charcoal. All right, so I think I pretty much cleaned all I cleaned from this one. I'm just going to cut the leaves that are very damaged. I just went with it. I cut all... <laughs> I did this in the moment. So, as you can see, my bulbs are very dehydrated. They are very, very severely, look at that. They're just being torn. They're being destroyed by this, these bugs that I just don't know where they came from because I never had mealybugs. I must have introduced one of my orchids, one of my the orchids I recently bought or something, and I must have not cleaned it properly because all of a sudden I have thrips, mealybugs, scales, and it's not fun, you guys. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove this one. I'm gonna sit it here and I'm gonna let it dry while I leave this one soaking in here. Okay, so next I have this other cymbidium. As you can see, it's pretty dry. The scale is very visible. I'll take you in closer in just a minute, but I wanted you, it is a large plant, so I wanted you to get an idea of what it, the entire plant looks like. See all that scale? And it's the same thing. All right, the scale is very noticeable all throughout the plant. All the leaves are being damaged. So a lot of my suitable, they're just drying. So let's see what I have here. I'm try to pull the plant. I try to leave most of this, all the media as much as I can in the bucket. Ah. You see that? A snail. Ugh. Gusting little creatures. I think I might be overwatering as well. I did not realize it until now. So I'm gonna do the same thing, you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward this and I'll show you guys what it looks at the end. When I pulled it, you know, when I started cleaning it, it just fell apart into two pieces. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up and then I'm just gonna repot it in a smaller pot. This is what my cymbidium looks like. As you can see, I have quite a few good roots well just a few it's not that many i have a growth developing here which is good news i hope it makes it and then the first part that broke off that i i was hoping that the plant was not that degraded where it would snap in two but it did and all the bulbs were just look at that dry there's nothing so i think i overwatered. so what i'm gonna do is that i'm gonna plant these in a smaller pot and i'm just gonna monitor them try to not water as much and well this one here has a growth there i hope you guys can see that well i'm gonna pot this one in a smaller pot and i'm gonna mon monitor it i hope it develops so i'll let i'll keep you guys posted all right so this one's been sitting here for a while now. It looks good. I don't see any bugs on it, but of course it's because it's wet. Once they dry out, I might be able to see them. It looks good. So I'm gonna set it with the other one. And then I'm gonna 
put this one in here. And this one is a little larger. Let me make sure I get all the leaves because the scale is on the leaves. It's gonna sit there. All right, guys, I'm about to do my standard repot. I'm actually gonna go with this small size pot moss, some rocks that I have here, some bark, and some charcoal for the for Howard's dream. All right, so I'm gonna make sure that there's no bugs left and they, uh, I don't see any. I'm gonna have to keep a close eye on it and I am gonna keep these outside my greenhouse. I'll show you guys exactly where I'm gonna keep it in a minute. Um, I ended up putting a small shelf for the orchids that I have in quarantine because I've noticed that there's, a, you know, there's either bugs or they're just new to my collection. All right, this is the first Cymbidium. As you can see, it's cleaned. It looks like it might not have any more. Just kidding, you see that? That is more. Really bad. Dip in the water once, once more, and I made sure I used my fingers, applied pressure, and removed everything that I saw, still saw that was left over. So I'm gonna use the same media. Make this quick. All right, so I'm gonna use this here for this one. Should be perfect. Um, one more thing, I forgot to show you guys this. So, right after I pulled them out of the Clorox, I didn't rinse them right away. I forgot to show you guys that. But I did rinse them, right? So, they go in the Clorox bucket for a good five minutes or so. And then I remove them rinse them with clean water and then I let them dry for a bit uh, these I'm not letting them dry that much I because I want to repot them I work tomorrow it's gonna be a long day for me so I won't be coming home till Monday so I won't have time if I leave them out they're just gonna get dehydrated even more uh, so I don't want to risk that so what I'm doing right now is that I'm rushing through, potting them, and making sure they're good. And I'm going to set them in front of my fan for a bit once I'm done with this. So just remember, if you do this, make sure you dry them completely before you pot them again. Or, you know, set them in front of a fan because it, if you have new growth like I do, they're gonna they're gonna rot and what you see me doing here is just getting all that dryness out of it and i'm just dumping everything on the ground i'm gonna sweep right after um this this is one of the reasons why i do this outside because um it can be messy all right many many years ago i used to work at a flower shop and um that's how like the designers worked we they had a work bench and you know they did their arrangements and everything was you know all the excess leaves everything that was not being used or it was discarded the clippings and all that stuff was just thrown to the ground and um you know they would clean their their stations right after that's exactly what i do <laughs> and eventually I will clean it off once I'm done. And if you don't remember, this is the second Insidium. This is the one that had the snail. And what you see me pouring here is charcoal.
if you see, I didn't center it because the new growth is coming from, I can't remember right now, from here or from here, but I believe these are the back bulbs. So I want to be able to, hopefully, if this one does well, keep it in here for, for a few years. All right, so that's what my plant looks like. Now I'm gonna set them. Let me show you where I'm gonna keep them. All right, guys, this is where they, he's, where these babies are gonna reside. Uh, this is where they have been actually since I've noticed that they had scale. And at the bottom I have my orchids that are affected with thrips. These don't go inside. They're either new or they're, they have something going on. So these are gonna remain out here. And I just wanted to show you guys that I, you know, where I keep them. They get shade here. They don't really get any sunlight. All right, guys, this is the final product. This is what they look like. Um, I'm about to set the fan in front of them so that I make sure they dry. But like I mentioned, hopefully this takes care of the scale and the mealy bugs. If it doesn't, I'm gonna end up using the orthene uh, because the organic just didn't work for the mealy bugs and the scales. All right guys, this is it. This is the final product. This is where these orchids are gonna reside for a good, I don't know, two, three weeks till I notice any progress. Uh, if for some reason the Clorox water didn't work, I'm gonna end up using the orthene and I will let you guys know if I end up using it and how I like it. Don't forget guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, if you have any, if you have any suggestions, any tips for me, any concerns, please do leave those in the comments below. I do review my comments on a daily basis and I do respond as soon as possible. Also, don't forget to share this video and subscribe to my channel. Alright guys, you guys have a good day. Bye.